All right, so. I don't have an invalid password. It's still the same password as up. So we should have. Let's see, let's uh, open this up again. In our heat, or sorry, qualifying, we should have Halsey, have Dopo, JBR, and Dagger. JBR, Halsey, have a nice day, Dagger. We're, we're a Dopo short. We are yeah, a Dopo short. So once Dopo joins, we'll be ready to get underway. Um, but... Yeah, it's just. <clears throat> Genuinely can't remember what I had for dinner. You've had dinner? Narcotics. Yeah. Well, like lunch, but I can't remember what I had. Oh, I remember what I had. I'm in now. Right. Everyone's in? Are we ready? Mm, let's go. Ooh. In that case then, in as soon as everyone's ready, we'll commence. How's the E? Now where we go? I gotta so, finish I my sandwich. Gus and I are just gonna pop up to the com box and we'll see you later. I hope my wheel works. Because it turns out I'm better at going straight. Alright, Gus. Yeah. I will mute myself. Gus. It's cool to do take the times, or who does that? Uh... Hey, Gus. Alright. So we're on board with JBR. We're getting started with qualifying. Straight away here. My microphone was muted. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Hello again. Hello again. Welcome, Gus. Yeah. So, Welcome. we're back again. Rallycross League has begun. We've got qualifying bracket two. That's what we're going to be streaming today. Bracket one is also taking part simultaneously with this bracket. So, just to make things move along a little bit more smoothly than last time. In so this we are bracket... playing favoritism. That's right. We are playing favoritism. We are watching at some people, but not at the others. Yes, indeed. So don't worry. Me. The heats and the finals will be streamed full. And we're away. Yes. Oh, JBR Whoa. with a poor start. <laughs> My goodness. Halsey getting spun around right off the bat. What is going on with JBR? He has not moved off that line. Dagger's gone into yeah. the lead, followed by Dopo. Oh, yeah. Have a nice day behind them both. Halsey's got a lot of work to do. Hopefully he'll be able to do the Joker and whatever problems are being encountered by JBR. Fingers crossed they get sorted. And Dopo just did the move on Dagger, right now they're fighting side by side. Ooh. Oh, and he's in the barrier. Yeah. Got a bit, a bit stuck against the barrier right there. Oh, we, uh, sorry, I'm just fighting yeah, the answer. That's no worries. And oh, JBR left the lobby. JBR has left the lobby. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull him up to the commentary box and ask what's going on. Okay. Hey JBR, are you um, alright? <laughs> My wheel wasn't working. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I literally put the clutch down, shifted into first, nothing happened, I was like, shit. Oh no. Well, I don't know how you work out the time for that. But... Uh, not one qualification uh, round or two, I think. Yeah, there are two qualification rounds. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take the average time of it and round it up to the next 
nearest minute. So if they if they're doing like three thirty total race times, <coughs> yours will be four minutes. Okay. So I think that works about right. Ooh. 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 And that was a very close rejoin, rejoin. between Dopo and Dagger right there. Yeah, the exit, of this, uh, the exit of this uh, Joker lap part is very, very shady. You can get a lot of contact yeah. there. And we will surely see, surely see some crash at this point. Exactly. There you go. Move JBR back down into his and Dopo right now is in the lead, but he didn't do his joker lap while Javana is there and Dagger behind are fighting. Almost a little bit of a oh, oh, nice contact! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh! Dagger and Dopo are not having a good day, but no, how is he, he going to catch up a bit, maybe? Fingers crossed. Yeah, he's just two seconds behind Dagger now. The Capybara man himself. Actually, no, that's Kunisek, <laughs> isn't it? Ah, oh, Kunisek, yes. <laughs> But still, Halsey is responsible for posting a whole load of Capybara memes, so... That's why you mix them up. Exactly. Woo! So there we go, we are on our final lap. Have a nice day is well in the lead. Two seconds ahead of Dopo in second, who is still yet to do his Joker lap. And it is a lovely day out here in Germany. So there we go. You do your Japanese lesson now. <laughs> I didn't finish one before. I was I, just finishing something. <laughs> I've, still, I've still not finished mine, to be honest with you. Ooh! Ah, Dopo see, is just. That was a interesting line there. As we see, Dopo now taking his Joker lap. Yeah, he has no choice. This is the last lap. Yeah. But he will still be in front. He's four seconds in front of Jack Dagger, so. so there we go. Nothing lost for him. So we finally come across the line. And yep. we are good. So, let's see. I need... Where did I put... There they are. So, Q1. Let's see who's got the fastest lap out of them all here. Mm -hmm. Fastest lap seems to be a 52.3 from Dopo. Nice. Um, do you need the order of people? I don't think in the qualification. Oh, yes. No, no. You just need the Sorry. time. A screenshot, a screenshot of everything, so... Yeah, I have a screenshot as well. Right. So, whenever Notes. we're ready, are we ready for round two? Uh, well, I am, except I'm still doing my lesson. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to pop down and make sure JBR is ready to go. Okay. There many reasons for it. <laughs> How are we doing? JBR, is your wheel ready and working again? It is. I'm just rejoining the lobby. Okay. Fingers crossed. Uh, there we go. So, are we ready for the next one? Alright, I'll pop back up. So, yeah, whenever they're ready, we'll be able to continue on with the yeah. second race yes. of Q1. I'm ready. I'm just doing a bit of things while... Uh... Yes, of course. I'm just doing a bit of my lesson. Because after the race, I think, after the race is tonight, I think I will go back to playing other games. Are you going to be going to go and playing Valheim? Either <laughs> that or start a new game or Civilization yeah. 6 like I just did before. Yeah. I'll probably I lost the... swap to yeah? Valheim after this. I need to go and get some copper. Well, we were. I was wondering if um, Panda can join us. We may actually go and do the boss. Ah, that'd be fun. Or do we want to wait for Glomp as we are getting ready to go? Glomp is ready. Okay. And this, and this time, time JBR, JBR moves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on the roof of JBR. Oh, wow. Let's good start from Halsey. Ooh, ooh. Straight into lead and runs away with it. He's got a good gap between him and Have a Nice Day in second place. As oh, there was a three JBR. wide behind him. Yeah, three wide <laughs> coming into the next corner. JBR pushing Dopo wide a little bit. Dagger running in the back, but it's all very close. Bumpy. Yeah, a little bit of booping. Oh my goodness, Dagger's gone quite wide there. And there we goes his Jab. bumper. We have Jab attacking on uh, on Housie now. Exactly. Uh, we have a good lead though. Mm. Oh, too wide. 
Yeah, a little bit a wide line from Halsey there. That's dropped him back, unfortunately, as he has spun. But fingers crossed he's getting it going again. Yes, he has. And they're doing the Jokalab immediately. That's a good strategy. If you spin, do the Jokalab. Well, that's usually the uh, thing. If you are behind, get that Jokalab done and out of the way. So we move on to our second lap now. That's JBR and Halsey having both done their Jokalab. Have yep. a nice day, Doko and Dagger ahead. Yet to do theirs. GBR just have to wait now. It's a very good battle for the lead. Doko and have a nice day. Side by side, Ooh. falling back a little bit is Doko. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> contact, contact. Oh, he put, him, he put him back straight. He put him back straight, <laughs> that'll be fine then. But it has allowed Dagger to get in on that action and he's up into the lead straight away what as they decide to take their Doko <laughs> And the two of them went, oh! <laughs> it's not gone well. Oh, no. <laughs> the two of them went in the, in the Joker, but it was too narrow <laughs> for both of them to drift through the corner. Yeah. So no uh. dagger has the lead. He just has to keep it while Javana is there and GBR are still fighting. This is what I love about Rallycross. There is always some action. It's always chaos and mayhem. Absolutely. <laughs> always chaos. And of course, the best livery, JBR, <laughs> is mid-pack in third. In the beans. Absolutely. As we come around now, heading... Oh, I can't, I can't remember where we are on the lap now. We're still on lap three. Lap, lap three, yes, lap three. We are coming to lap four really soon. Yeah. You can put the map if you want. Ah, okay. Ah, someone is in the Joker, so Dagger is doing his Joker lap. Yeah, Dagger's kind of done his joker lap, but he has managed to stay ahead as we move on to our yep. fourth and final lap. So if JBR is wanting any chance to go for the lead, he is going to have to get it done in the next few corners. Probably the best opportunities are these hairpins coming up. And Heavy he's actually, braking zones. He's actually in a good position to go for the lead. Yeah, he went way tighter there. Yeah, trying, better line. He's just trying to keep that traction and he's got the drive out of the hairpin there. Yeah. JBR into the lead. He played the first corner slowly to get good on the second one and it worked. While Dagger is fighting Javanese nice day now. Oh wow, side by side. Three almost coming through that last couple of corners here as we come around the last bend. Poor tire. Last, last two bends I should say. <laughs> this one's the last bend. Oh no. oh no more contact but they've stayed in their own position so that's absolutely fine as jbr crosses the line in first dagger second yep. have third fourth double and fifth is house two second lead he crossed the line as a two second lead so let's see if anyone's beaten a 40 well, one second sorry. Uh, 52 3 51 point five Ooh. jbr is our fastest lap for qualifying Bracket two, I should say. 51.534. So JBR coming away with the points for fastest lap. However, this is not based on finishing position. This is all based on total race time. Well, JBR has the shortest because he can do the first race with zero. So. But... <laughs> Oh, will not go, he'll, not get a, like he'll get a four minute lap time. So, JBR, oh. lap one, zero, four, zero. No, wrong. Oof, Mislav. There we go. Mislav, oof. What happened? In the meantime, I will wait to. S oh! Yes, if you can pull up those. Nice. Uh, if you can pull up those screenshots, that'd be perfect. I can give it to you, screenshots. Yes, please. Screenshot, 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 where are my screenshots? Screenshot, uh, if you can read them out for me, that'd be perfect. Read them out? Yes. Because uh, then I can ah. just focus on entering them in and it's quicker. So. Race one. Um, race one was Javanese Day leader. Yep. Uh, you don't want the time, you already noted the time. I want, right? I want the total race time. Okay. 3 minutes 39 seconds, 0.726. 339.726. Yep. In second, we have Dopo in the first race. Yep. With 3, three minutes 41.064. 0.064. Fantastic. 
In third, we have Dagger. Yep, zero. With a... Yep. Three minutes and something else. Three minutes, 46 and 505. Wonderful. And then Halsey. And then Halsey with a three minute 50.537. 537. Brilliant. That's that's race one completed. So race two, JBR came in first. JBR, winner, with a three minute 39.559. 9.559. In second, Dagger with a 3 minute 40.737, like the Boeing. Boeing, Boeing, Boeing. Japanese Day in third with a 3 minute 42.252. Wonderful. In fourth, we have Dopo with a 3 minute 42.634. Yes. And in fifth, we have Housey. With a 3 minute 47.727, better time than before. 47.727. So there we go. That are That is our times for qualifying group number one. JBR also managing to get some points in as well. And yet with a vastest lap. Yeah, and as you look as well, he's not doing too badly. The... I think the thing in terms of rounding up the uh, to the nearest minute is a good way to give people who've just had issues in the first race like a little bit of you know assistance, you know, so they're not completely out of the yeah out of it for qualifying because he's still fairly competitive with a seven thirty nine point five five nine total race time across both of those and picking up points for fastest lap as well. I will delete these two screenshots because this is done. Yep. Oop. GBR lap time is not hoof, it's good. There we go. Sorted. Nishi? Oh, the button in the middle scouter. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot what I did with the mine buttons. There we go. So, that is that sorted out. So, yeah. <laughs> it's Kotal's gone and sorted that out by that, but that is not how we do. What we do is this. We do this. I'm low. going to... <laughs> highlight those. Sort range. Column C, A to Z, sort. And that is how we go control C and control V. Oh. Paste values. There we go. That's more like it. Qualifying randomizer. Race brackets. So our brackets for the next round are now filled. Nice. I can't see them, but oh yes, I can see them if I put the GZDR. Oh damn, that's uh, that's incorrect. So I've noticed an issue with the table. Unfortunately, um, the uh -huh. heat groups are the wrong way round. So heat group two is listed under heat group number one, and heat group number two is what group one should be. Right, I see. So yeah, um, uh -huh. that'll that'll be something to fix. I'll note that down. Um, question for its total: Who got the fastest lap over those two races in qualifying number one? Um, uno momento, and I will tell you. So in the in the first race, the fastest lap went to Tombahawks. Sorry, I actually didn't need to check this. They both went to Tombahawks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, first race was Tombahawks. Did anyone go faster in the second race? No. <laughs> Is that really a question? I did go faster in the second no that race. So <laughs> yeah, Tombo went faster. Right, that time that, was better. In that case, then, we need It's Kotal. Have a nice day. Dagger, JBR, and Jedlin for group number one, please. Uh, okay. Are we doing these simultaneously, or are these going to be separate? These ones um, will be separate. I wish to stream yes. these. Okay. Okay. So no worries. Oh, I'll put down at the heat comes then. 
Yep, we are bumping these up to five laps. So one lap less than before. And we're moving to an hour later as well. I'm sitting this one out then. Yes, indeed. Yep. Just uh, ignore the table. It's something I need to fix. It should be, as I said... Oh, what's happened there? Control Z. So, so who goes in the lobby? Do I stay in the lobby? Do I go in the yep. lobby? What's... So the, the people who should be in the lobby now are It's Kotal, Have a Nice Day, Dagger, JBR, and Jedlin. Got it. No worries. And with that, if we are all ready to go... Is your, uh, is your stream link in the uh, in the chat? I don't see it. That is something I should have done. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. I did tweet out. Here I, um, I can send it for you. I have it. See. Heading over to self-promotion. Control-V. There is a 205 uh, lap run in the uh, semifinals. Yes. I've already sent it to Harkuno, so you can focus yep. on the stream. Oh, you've also sent it. Yeah, you posted a link to a video, which isn't a uh, live stream. Ah, uh, okay. So are we ready to go? We are. Let us get going with the first round of racing. I'll move back up to the commentary box. And if the drivers head down into the heat comms, that'd be perfect. All right. How are we doing? It's Kotal, have Dagger, JBR. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> it's Kotal, have... Oh, they're all starting. Jadlin, it's Kotal, Dagger, have a nice day, JBR. There we go. So they're all in their respective boxes now. Tomahawks, of course, getting maximum points for qualifying again. And points for the fastest lap in his qualifying round as well. Gus got 69. is the best anyway. I got 1998. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. It's like a decent enough start from JBR, but he's still in the back of the pack. Everyone else getting away fairly clearly. Yeah. yeah, we've got three wide coming through that first corner. Tires again begin to fly. His Kotal's lost his bumper already. And Dagger is not having a good day because Dagger has a 20 second penalty. Great jump start. That is unfortunate. Oh, that is a very. <laughs> so this uh, one, this will be one to save a replay of. Just in case it gets disputed. The guy's there, just hanging on the back. No, he's just there. Man, 20 second penalty. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed people keep going even if they do get their penalties. So, mm -hmm. after the end of the first lap, have a nice day is in the lead. But JBR and yeah. Dagger have both completed their joker laps. And JBR mm -hmm. is not far away from Java Nice Day. Absolutely. And Jelly right and are 14. Yes, indeed. It's Kotal doesn't necessarily have the aero advantage, having lost his front bumper early on. Uh, well, we've still got the uh, metal bits underneath, though. It's difficult to get a uh, consistent slide going with these cars. It is yeah, possible. It's not enough oil. It is possible to do. You just have to like know how to place them, how to commit with them enough yeah. that you can yeah. keep the slide up without and losing power. On this track, there is a place where we want to keep the slide up for for a bit, which which is at the end of the sector one. Mm. This first left corner, you can put a slide at the at the beginning of the first corner and chain it to the second one. And if you do it correctly, it's where you are the fastest. Exactly, it's a it's a double left hander. The second left hander yeah. essentially being a hairpin. If you can maintain that slide all the way round both of those corners you will gain a whole bunch of time. And it is sexy as fuck. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Ooh, it's Kotal is on fire, trying to get Jedlin and side by side now. Absolutely. 
So there we go, side by side, coming through these tight corners here. This is a tricky track. Very technical, definitely very technical compared to uh, Lohek last week. Okay, I'm done. You done your Duolingo? Yeah, I was, I just, when we were away before, I started a new lesson, but an easy one, and I just finished it. <laughs> well, so I'm full on in the race, no? Yeah, only Javanese Day didn't compete his Joker lap, and it's not far away enough from GBR to be sure it will, it will be in first position after the Joker Absolutely. lap. Well, it's so not far away enough that GBR is actually fighting him for position right now. Wonderful. So JBR is literally right up his backside. Have a nice day. Still needs yeah. to do his Joker lap. Fastest lap so far from JBR, 51.1. Uh, that's the last lap, I think. That's the last lap, but I imagine it is the fastest lap. 51.2, yes, for Javanese Gate, 51.1 for GBR. Yep. So there we go. And he just did his Joker lap, and he's just now behind GBR. So this is the final lap as well, all to play for, for the lead in heat number one. JBR in the lead at present. Have a nice day, though. Well within striking oh. distance. Yeah, that's oh, where... and a slight bit of contact there, but JBR will still have the inside line coming around with the second hairpin. And he just about mm. manages to keep that lead. They are neck and neck. Yeah, that last club will be good. Absolutely. We're coming into the last few corners now. They're both going to miss their joke lap, having done it the previous lap. Coming up to the final corner. Uh, JBR got a bit of a lead there. He got a better... JBR right. just managing to hold on. That was some very close racing through those hairpins. In the back, it's Kotel, Jadin and Dagger in that order. Absolutely. So let's enter that in. So, Gus, I'll leave it up to you to mention who came One. where. So, JBR is first with a best lap of 51.2. So, is JBR actually is not the best lap. One point. Yeah, in second place, we have Javanese Day with a best lap of 51.200, and it is the best lap of the race. So, have a nice day has currently got the fastest. Yeah, fastest lap. Oh. Which one? Then, behind that, we have in third place, it's Kotel with a 51.6. Three. Then, Jedlin in fourth, and Dagger in fifth. Dagger, the only one with a lap time of 52, but I guess he lost a bit of motivation. After getting a 20 second penalty. That is unfortunate. However, I think it already like it factors in the penalty into that, so fifty. Yeah, the time into the time, yeah. So it would have still been it would have still been gone behind. a bit But behind, I mean yes, he got, that's no he got the he got the penalty at the at the beginning and I think he just hung out in the back saying, eh, okay. I'm going to finish last anyway. Fifty one point two for half. Is there still one more race where he can make it up though? So. No worries. On to the next one straight away then. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, drank a bit of water. Oop. So there we go. Whenever we're ready, one, two, three, four. Just waiting on Have a Nice Day to thumbs up and we'll continue. That was certainly one heck of a race. I've not got any music going. Let's get that going. Stations. That's the station. There we go. We're going to start. Actually, give me a second. Are we all ready to go? Yep. Fantastic. Let's commence. All right, we're all good. Good to have a little bit of music playing in the background, I think. Yeah, depends. I don't know. Just for in between the racing, you can't, I've got I've got it quiet enough that you can't hear it during the racing, but loud enough that when there's nothing else in the background, you can hear it. 
I hope. Ooh, GBR starting in the middle, Jadlin in the front. Absolutely. That is a weird starting position on this grid, though, on this race track. It is. Um, but the way it it's normally like works is that um, it should be sort of staggered a bit more. Yeah. I know it looks like a tank formation. Oh, my it's goodness. Ooh. It's Kotal and Jedlin. Oh. Fairly good on the getaway there. JBR's trying to muscle his way through a bit. <laughs> it's Kotal again. Already lost his front Ooh. bumper. And, oh my goodness! JBR and his total coming together. What and an he stalled. incident! He stalled. he stalled it. Oh no! A absolute disaster for its total there. Yep, but it's not nobody's fault. It's just a racing accident, right? No, Ooh, and dagger. Absolutely. Up. Happily, the damage are only visual. Happy for them. Yep, dagger is, uh, damage is just visual. The cars still work underneath, which is no worries. Beans Man is going for his Joker lap. Yeah, while Jadlin and Javanai are fighting for the lead. Oh! oh. And JBR pushed Jadlin out of the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, JBR into second place. The beans are on fire. Well, if the beans are on fire, then that's uh, probably the wrong way to cook them. Roasted beans. <laughs> Refried beans. And I Refried just remembered beans. I need to put the bins out this evening. So that's something to do after the stream and before Valheim. Valheim la. Ooh, dagger going very sideways behind. Absolutely. It's overtaken by Jedlin. Big sideways. Have a nice day. It's actually pulled out quite a lead on JBR now. We're looking at yeah, about a two-second gap. Because of the contact between everyone, so he's nicely in front. Absolutely. The he's elbows are out today. And it's Kotel. He's just trying to catch back up, but after that spin and stall... Yeah, he's trying to make the best of a bad Ooh. situation. Oh! Just catching the, in, the inside of that corner there. That was uh, Jedlin, right? Yeah, Dagger pushed, well, he pushed, Jedlin spin, span, and Jagger put, Dagger just pushed him back onto the track. What a nice man. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it does seem to me a little, oh, wow. <laughs> now, that was definitely a racing incident there. A little bit too much of a slide from Dagger, causing contact, yeah. being and nice, though, and letting him pass. And, and, and making some tires fall again, because they, they hate tires, these drivers. Yeah. I'm surprised they've not got all got Hoonigan liveries over because the of course the Hoonigan motto is kill all tires. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, but is. you don't want a you don't want a Hoonigan livery if you want to win a race. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. If you just want to shred your tires. Yep. So everyone's now <laughs> done their joker laps. Have a nice day. It has now got a seven second lead out in the front. He is absolutely just, flying. He just can't chill now, but we have a fight to not be the last one of the evening right now. So, yeah. Between Dagger and Jadlin, and Scott is just in front of them, so yeah. he's not far away behind. He's made a good few tire. places as well, look at that. Yeah. Well done, it's Scott. Let's the best time. So there we go. Well, the best lap is actually it's Scott with a 50.8. 50.8. The world record on this track with these cars is a 49.5 by so Tomahawk. That, that was Coke, right? Hmm? It's Coke with a 50.8. Yeah, it's Coke, right? No. Ooh. Oh man, Daggers uh, finally those barriers this evening. It is a narrower track, definitely, compared to Lohek. And if you do crash... Now, narrower but longer. Huh? Narrower but longer track. Narrower but longer. It's More Kotal tire. used uh, tire screen. Instead of, yeah. instead of throwing up a smoke screen, he just throws tires. So, oh, yeah. I was saying before, the best lap ever on this race track is 49.5. The race car, of course. Yeah. And it is Tomahawks. He had one record on the leaderboard of Project Cars 2. <laughs> Ooh, Jenny. That was uh, interesting. And we will and see Tomahawks in the next race, I think. 
Indeed, in the next round, we will be seeing Tomahawk. So, that is our race complete, I believe. Our fastest lap today was its total with a 50.87... No! No! GBR! 50.7! 7.55! Ooh, nicely done, GBR. In your livery. Yeah, 50.75. Five. That is also the fastest lap of the day so far. Yep. And of course, we've got um, Have, JBR. That's the first two we've got. So we've got Have a Nice Day, JBR. It's Kotal, Jedlin, and Dagger. It's Kotal, Jedlin, and Dagger. So that is our list of people we have here. I can just do a quick sort by points. I just realized that Dagger's avatar is actually. Is BMW M1 Pro Car car from the from the GZR Championship. So there we go. <laughs> so now we're going to have a swap around. We need Tomahawks, Aaron, Dopo, Swiperino. Halsey, and Scout. I'm going to get myself some lemon meringue pie. I that was a stream on. That was a good bunch of races right there. Very entertaining. Thank you very much. There was a lot of incidents and moments happening. Here. A lot of elbows out, yes. I'm just going to get the other guys into the lobby and we can get underway with heat number two. Yeah, I'm going to drop out of voice comms. See you all in a bit. See you in a bit. Probably sure. All right, see then. Oh, okay, great. Uh, so we can join if the we lobby. can have Tomahawks, Aaron, Dopo, Halsey, and Fat Scout, it's time for your heat. Aaron, Tomahawks. I'm only got Twitch on the TV. My TV doesn't have the Twitch app anymore. Samsung. Is there any any ways an admin can transition me to the heat, please? Yes, no worries. I'll do that now. Appreciate it. There you go. So as I say, we just need Tomahawks, Aaron. Dopo, Halsey, and Fat Scout, and we can get on with the next one. We currently have Dopo, Aaron, and Tomahawks. So we just need Halsey and Fat Scout, and we can go. Well, obviously, my money's in Tomahawks here. Yeah. I don't know why you think that. There we go. Come on, all <clears throat> There we go. Mm. Struggling to load all of it. There we go. So we've, as I say, we've only got the three people in here at the moment. We still need Aaron and Fat Scout. So no, we got. So we got Aaron. I mean Halsey. Fat Scout's just joined. So we're just waiting on Halsey now. And then we can get going. I'm going to pop up. Or pop down, I should say. All right. Uh, become Steam friends real quick. So, or add me or Harkonu or Tumba or somebody. Tumba. There you go. What? What's anyone's Steam name? Uh, uh, WSR Harkuno. There you go. Uh, got a speed run with us. No worries. There you are. Added. Confirmed. Back to friends list. There we go. Wonderful. All and right. with that, let's get going. <clears throat> Fantastic. So now we've got everyone in the lobby. We are ready to go. Yay. And Gus Blood, thank you very much for the sub scribble. Yeah, thank you, guys of blood. And also, thank you for the posture check. I was slouching. The what? I was slouching. Oh. And you say thank you for what before? The posture check. You redeemed oh, posture yeah. check for 250. <laughs> yeah, I did redeem something because I've also I raised. It. I've also raised my screen up so it's at a much more comfortable height to actually look at the screen now because I found myself sort of hunched forwards whilst playing Valheim yesterday and it was not very comfortable. So I am I can, right now sitting now on just... a wooden chair, so I'm 
have no choice but have a good posture. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So, we are underway in just a moment. In front of the group, we got yep. Halsey and Aaron, Dopo and uh, oh, Fat Scout are in the next one behind. Tombo in the back. Tombo's got a bit of stuff playing fast, Boji. Yes, That's indeed. Tough. Oh, elbows out straight away into the first corner. Halsey's getting a good, uh, clean getaway so far. His car is still in a good condition. How long will this last, though? Because everyone, I think, has a little bit of damage by the end of a race. Yep. <laughs> Three wide coming into the double left-hander. Tires <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. And tires are being weaponized. It's like the tyres just got... Do you see the tyre just got fired at who... I yeah. can't remember now. This is... It's Mario Kart strategy. Tyres on the new bananas. Absolutely. <laughs> One thing for sure, I definitely won't get tired of this. <laughs> Ooh, Tomahawk's making it on braking on Housey. Absolutely. Super fast. Ooh. A little bit of elbows out between Housey and Aaron. Unfortunately, Aaron has... Spun from that contact, or Dopo, Dopo even. No, Dopo was inside Housey and it was a bit too much inside. He hit the tire wall mm. straight. <laughs> that is what happens sometimes. Housey is just about Funny, just about lost the slide there. It was very close to keeping it. Yep. He's not doing too bad. Doing enough so far to keep Aaron behind as Tomahawks is now two seconds ahead and has done his joker lap. Uh, Tomahawk is really in a good place right now in this race. He started last, but he overtook everyone right at the beginning Absolutely. while watching Fat Scout do the Joker lap too. So, yeah, Mr. Spinella, I do like that lip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That was a hop and a half right yeah. there. Hop. <laughs> One to lap three, then the tyres yet again getting completely destroyed. Oh, that was a nice little uh, puff of smoke coming from the rear wheels of Halsey there. Yeah. Ooh, bit too much. Uh, I want... No, it's fine, actually. It's a good line. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this race is yeah. really couchic. <laughs> I think the thing with the slides are, usually, if you can sort of set the slide so that you're already pointing the way you want to exit the corner and then just keep the throttle on, you usually... Yeah turn out about all right if you just sort of modulate that throttle so that you get the, enough grip back to get yourself in the direction you want to go rather than keeping the spinning going oh, oh side by side contact oh, just <laughs> about got away with that no bumper club absolutely <clears throat> everyone has now completed their joker lap Dopo yeah. recovering he's trying to catch back up on fat scout Will he manage to do it by the end of the race, though? That is the question. This and is Aussie the got of the Aaron race. back, and Aaron got Ozzy back, and Ozzy got Aaron back again. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was one hell of a drive coming out of that second hairpin from Halsey. Yep. He just hooked that car up completely. And uh, Aaron has now scored a strike. We'll add that to the bowling scorecard. All of those tyres <laughs> went flying. This is quite, oh, and again! Oh, this is one heck of a fight. I am enjoying this, absolutely. Hey, oh, a bit of contact. But Fat Scout is actually taking this opportunity oh, no. to catch up and pass. Halsey, Halsey going a little bit too narrow on that corner, catching the inside. Just about recovered to be in front of Dopo. But we've we come on to the last lap now. But look, and her dope point is going to take him too. No. Oh, that is unfortunate from Halsey right there. He was doing so well. He, he passed back, and dope point is going to pass back again. And how's he get a good exit there? Well, there we go. through the tire, okay. <laughs> That's no worries there. So Tomahawks, I think, is pretty much. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. Fat Scout, big spin ala from him as Tomahawks crosses the line in first. 50.084, that last lap is now the fastest no, lap. No, 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 no. He did a 49.5 before. I just didn't say it because we are watching something else. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Let's look at that. 
I think Tomahawks needs to run with a full tank of fuel. <laughs> 49.6 before. 49.6. So, as I said before, during the other race, his record, which is a world record, is 49.5. So, he ran, he ran 0.1 second behind his world record. What's Aaron Fatscout? Topo Housie. <clears throat> so, Tomahawks. Aaron. Was it? Yeah. Tomahawk. Tomahawks. Aaron. Um, Fat Scout in Summer Boji. Topo Housie. Howzy who did a very good race but was very unlucky at the end. And um, look at the gap between Tomba Hawks and and uh, and uh, the second one. Absolutely. And, and Dopo and Dopo it was twelve seconds in five laps. I mean that was certainly something. I'm gonna take this quick break whilst we're waiting for them to ready up to quickly grab my bottle of Coca Cola. I'm gonna run and come back and hopefully they'll be ready by the time I get back. Run! Okay. In the meantime, people, I'm going to talk to you about the ranking right now in the championship, the entire championship. After last week's race, Tomba Hawk is leading the championship with 44 points in front of It's Kotel, who has 36 points. Then I... Dagger with 30 points. JBR with 26, 7 points. Then we have Javanais Day, Dopo, Jacob Ime, Aaron, Jadin, Fat Scout in Summer Body, Cringy Frog, and Housie, of course, who didn't take part last week. But everyone is very close to each other. There's always a one, two, or three second gap between each other. Three Absolutely. point gap between each other. Except for Tomba Hawks, who, eight, who is eight second ahead. Eight <laughs> gap. Eight, eight point fucking hell. Eight second <laughs> gap. Eight and second gap uh, point ahead. <laughs> I agree, me, Slav. Tomba Hawks first. Surprise. We're seeing Tomba Hawks actually starting right on our right hand side, on the left hand side of the grid. And let me say something. He's got a He's clear... starting in the inside line. Absolutely. So and a clear track ahead of him. Look at that. Yeah. So, as we commence now, race two of the second heat. Let's get seen ready. From Aaron. Good getaway there. Start. On board with Aaron as we. Diving into that first corner. Good line from Aaron there. He's gained a couple of positions straight away. Yeah, so oh. did Tomahawk, but oh, both of them came a bit to contact, but oh, nothing yeah. lost. I think so the thing that can happen with these uh, contact incidents is the car can sort of get hooked on the other car. So if something happens, yeah. it just sort of gets dragged by the other car. And there's nothing either party can do about it, really, apart from just almost coming to a stop. Ooh, and how's he messing up behind a bit? Absolutely, a little bit of a side swipe on Aaron there. Hopefully he's got it going again though, as we're seeing Dopo jumping straight in to his joke lap, getting it out of the way. Yeah. Promoting Tomahawks to the lead. I don't think they... Oh my Ooh. goodness! <laughs> I told it before during qualification, the rejoin of this joker lap will be messy. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> I, I, I'm running the game right now. It says it's 110 FPS. But I still think yeah. we only saw Dopo for about five frames. <laughs> just sort of... <laughs> just sort of pinged off, like, ricocheted off the sides of Tomahawks and disappeared again. He messed up his corner a bit, too. Yeah, but he's the only one who have done a Joker lap right now. Absolutely. A fat scout and Aaron are taking back the fight from before. So yeah. So I think I it's guess... the final. We should probably yeah. say about just being a little careful when rejoining from the Joker. Don't forget a uh, priority to the right. Yeah. <laughs> priority at droit. A droit. A droit. There is an E at the end because Priority is feminine for some reason. <laughs> oh, okay. It's French. Everything has a gender in French. Unless Ooh. you're in Germany. I think Germany's got three, hasn't it? Male, female, and neutral. Yeah, they have three. In France, we have two genders, and every object or concept has a gender. Fair enough. Just to annoy people who say there are more than two genders. <laughs> yeah. 
Wall of Langoy. Oh, and <laughs> once again, he's rejoining. Oh. And it, it, it's exactly the car you'd expect it to be. It's the uh, Saint Bilala. versus Sinner car, ramming the Spinella car mm. up the backside. Bilala. You couldn't write this stuff. There is a bit of a gap between everyone right now in this race, which is quite weird for Rallycross. There we go. So if we just bump on the uh, track map, we can see how spaced out these people are. Yeah. D don't look at the uh, last lap from Tombahawks, by the way. That's a 49.2. I'm sorry, what? 49.2. Oh, Really, his tyres are not having a good day. Everyone is hating on them. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to cope with that Tomahawks that time. <laughs> what? Uh, the advantage from between here and um, and the um, time attack mode is that you don't have track limit here, so maybe you went a bit wide at one point or... Yeah, maybe. A bit more. Because we do race with track limits off, but if we see, like, serious cutting, then we have to, you know, apply some sort of... There, but come on, Dupo, that was on purpose. You clearly could have missed this tire, but no, you rammed them. Aiming the tires <laughs> there. So, yeah, Aaron and Fat Scout, second and third. Bit of a gap, but it's between Fat Scout and Dopo right here. This is, is the current battle. Oh no, Fat Scout spins, but. Oh, that's so messy! <laughs> and there's a tire on his. <laughs> What was that? And he got him! He got him! I don't know what happened there! <laughs> I don't know. Dopo's just sort of no. ghosted there. Have a nice uh, track there. Limit. Track limit are shit. You have a nice day on a rally cross track. Mm. But it will give you penalty when you spin. It will give you penalty all the time. Absolutely. Try racing with track limit. The stream. What Hello, happened with Dopo there? At the end. Oh. But yeah. Either way, GNF that was before, one hell of a lap time. And how yeah, nice day, we can always, if if we need to, we can always trial, you know, having damage on and uh, track limits on during a practice session some point during the week. Uh, I, I want to say damage on track limits off because I tried track limits on on it would be yeah. impossible. Everyone will, will, will end with 50 second penalty. Yeah, performance, <laughs> in, performance impacting is probably a good idea. What we'll is the best the, way we'll to take the, the same here? So, Tom. Tom Hawks with Sorry. a 49.295. Yeah, then Aaron in second place. Fat Scout in third place. Housie in fourth. And Dopo in GNF. Tom Hawks, Aaron, Fat Scout. Housie. To answer GBS question, the best way. To take a joker lap is sideway. That is indeed true. So let's get these all sorted out and then we'll populate our finals. Yay. Sort range, headers, points, A to Z. And ask me for the best way to take uh, any lap, actually. It's always sideway. So. Sideway. Happy. That's why I'm still disappointed, disappointed at Side Max Motorsport. Because they are called the side oh, max, two. but they are not in any drifting championship. Get these two. Three. Four. When you're called side max, you're supposed to go six. Anyone got five? And we've got two people with six, so that's a good way to fill this out then. Fat Scout and it's Kotal. So that is our big final. Will be Tomahawks, Have a Nice Day, JBR, Aaron, Fat Scout, and it's Kotal. And our small final will be everyone else. So. Is there a drift championship win? I'll be judging. Well, we need judge for the drift championship. We need judges. Dopo, Halsey, and Dagger. There we go. So that is our brackets for our small finals. You're the bracket. Yeah, the brackets are complete. 
I'm just going to pop on down and make sure everyone knows what we're doing. I, I agree with you there. There was there was uh, a it, hell of a lot more, of elbows out there. There were more tires on the on the race track than. <laughs> <laughs> That was certainly interesting. That was some good racing, though. Uh, might have a look at turning on performance impacting damage for the next round. We'll give some trials out during the week just to see what's going to work. Uh, uh, but we now have our brackets for our small finals and our big finals. So in the small final, which will be racing next, we have Jedlin, Dopo, Halsey and Dagger. And in our big final, which will oh. happen afterwards, is Tomahawks, Have a Nice Day, JBR, Aaron, Fat Scout, and It's Kotal. And that's what we okay, have. Okay, I'm coming. So we just need Jedlin, Dopo, Halsey, and Dagger. They have maybe damage on. I think uh, Jav is asking for that. Yeah, so this is this, this is the only track with it with it's hard to have damage on because it's so much tires. So even if someone else hits some tires, they're on the track and you hit them, your car is destroyed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, Gus and I did see one point during uh, the first heat where someone literally fired some tires straight into the side of another car. <laughs> yeah, I think that was me. I, when... I think because... <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, because I lost my car when I was side by side with uh, Aaron, and my car just went into the tires I tried to break. So I basically pushed tires on Aaron, and then I could pass him. <laughs> yeah, but like, oh, nice to see you. people are not afraid of hitting the tires. If people are Absolutely. afraid of hitting the tires, they're not going to hit them. All right. So... Yeah, but ask still, question. it's going to be inevitable in this track. Mm. It's, but I agree. We we usually do with with damage, but uh, so do you think from uh, this uh, from the next race on we should have performance impacting? You can you can try maybe if if yeah. if because the other tracks let's say like hell it's no problem at all it's so yeah. open so unless people just you know torpedo each other it shouldn't be a problem. So the only the only thing I balk at is the fact that we're in the middle of a event. Um, yeah, I'm not yeah. opposed to it for sure. Just the fact that the like, event. No, I'm not, I'm not it, it would be from hell onwards. Yeah, it would be mm -hmm. from, oh, from hell onwards. onwards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Not, not yeah. changing anything today. Uh, and as, as I said, it's probably a good idea to trial it for next time. It might just be mm -hmm. worth uh, turning on the track limits for the next time rather than damage, because I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Like I say, yep. I do want to run some practice. So if anyone is available on Friday or Saturday to test it out. That would be perfect. I think track limits is harder when there are so many people because sometimes mm -hmm. you get pushed outside and then you have to wait and let, despite the fact you didn't do anything wrong. You can you get these ridiculous penalties mm. from time to time, exactly. so, especially in rallycross. So if you're going to do something, I would rather prefer the, for the damage. But I think hell, for example, shouldn't be a problem. Wild Crest and Brand Satch Brand Satch are a really, really tough track as well. So yeah. uh, if, mm -hmm. if we have damage on there, I think people would be more careful because there are some tires there and, and it's a really, really, really tricky and narrow track. Exactly. So, so anyway. I, I would, uh, if you want to do something, please take have the track limits off because it's going to be so, so difficult otherwise. Okay. That's, You're going to have so much slowdown. That sounds like a good argument to me. So with that being said, I think we should move on, get the small final going. So if our small final competitors can head on down to the comms channel and we'll get underway. Alrighty then, so we're going to be getting on the way in just a second. Yay! Move Jedlin down. And like that, I think we are ready to go with our small final six laps. This time out. I like uh, Valheim Kart Championship. Yeah, everyone with 1,000 um, kilo or unit in, in the cart, and you have to race from one place to another. Exactly, and Wardian, thank you very much for the follow. I've not managed to keep track of things recently, so I do apologize for missing that earlier. Hope you're having a good day. As we move on now to our small final, only four cars on the track. As we get ready to go.
pretty suspenseful music going on right now in the background as well. Don't forget to check out Pretzel Rocks if you are a streamer. Fantastic royalty free service. And we are on the way. Halsey's getting a fairly good start. Ooh, it's like uh, Dopo getting pushed a little bit wide by Jedlin there. Tires flying already. Already. What fifth corner? Absolutely. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit of side by side contact there between Dagger and Halsey. Normal. Stay nice and clean. The cars are fairly intact for now. It's actually the best start we had right now. Oh, except for Dagger right now. <laughs> of course, I have to say the cars are looking all intact for now. But of course, we have a big crash. And there's a big fight for the lead between Dobo and Jadlin right now. Mm. Jinxed it. Of course. But it means that both... Oh, wow. Mm. Taking advantage of that uh, joke lap inside the line there from Jedlin. Very well done, but they're still side by side. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, obstacle on the, on the track. <laughs> Dopo hanging on around the outside, but it's still got a joke lap to do. My goodness me. Good, good fights. Ooh. Ooh. Dopo being a bit wide there. I saw that <laughs> more tire flying. Uh, I thought it is a mistake that he's come on on these two corners there. Some people try to stay in front by attacking the first one too fast and they get overtaken or caught up on, on the second one. Absolutely. Ooh, nice sideway from Jadid. There. there we go, we're seeing Dopo now taking his joker lap. So they're gonna come out side by side or will there be a quick... Oh my goodness, tires going everywhere. I think that was... Uh... How's he taking his? Yeah. And Dopo actually gained the time in the in the in the Joker. Well if you nail it, you have a better line for that corner before the second yeah. to last corner. The fight is real between these two right now. Absolutely. I think this fight's been going on for the entire race so far. As they go into the tire minefield. Tire minefield. <laughs> I mean what else do you want to call it? Uh, it's actually messing up their, their bumper at the front. It is, it is. <laughs> and I imagine Actually, if damage were been... on, they'd probably also be getting mild suspension, suspension damage yeah. from hitting all those tyres. Jelly and the boy, we didn't look at Aussie and Dagger since the beginning because there, there is a bit of a gap between them, there is no fight. There is a bit of a gap, they were neck and neck a little bit earlier. And that was a very tight line there from Jedlin, getting rather close to the barriers on the inside. You going to get a good lap time on this lap, I yeah, think. Indeed. Keep this side going. Yes. Exactly as we should do it. That was spot on from Jedlin. Good line there. Perhaps not so good for the second one, but, but still yeah, maintaining before, that gap. Yeah. Jedlin going to put more tires onto the track because we didn't have enough. Uh, Dopo, sorry, Dopo. You know, what, you know what this track could need? Uh, some tires, some more tires. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually the cleanest race, the cleanest race we've seen so far. It is actually, yeah. I mean, less cars on track, which means less opportunity for. Oh! I was, I was thinking that was going to be a bit narrow there from Jedlin. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> that was a big one, but it now means we are all fairly spaced out. Yeah. We've got one more lap to go after this as well. A 50.73 for that last lap. Oh, Housey actually pulled off a 0.0. .0. Housey is so fast. That is the fastest lap of the day. Fastest lap of ever. Seconds. Fastest lap ever, yeah. <laughs> what? What did that happen? You know, it reminds me of those Mario Kart glitches you can get. Because uh, I remember back in the Nintendo DS version of Mario Kart, right? Um, there was a, essentially an oval circuit. I can't remember which one it was. But someone got like... Because with the Mario Kart leaderboards and time trial stuff, you're supposed to do three laps. And, that, and then your total time from that is your leaderboard on the time trial stuff. Someone literally started the race, turned into the barriers, 
and their time finished at three seconds. So they did apparently three laps in three seconds. But he's a very fast lap down. That's a Ooh. glitch. Oh no, a little bit too wide from Halsey there. But he has seven second lead of Dagger, so he's not going to get overtaken, I think. Mm -hmm. Is it a small final, by the way, right? Yes, it's a small final, yes. This is the one that has six people in it, right? The other one has got a full lobby of six, yes. Oh, that would be chaos, that would be beautiful. Oh, how's he? Is how's he losing? utilizing the need for speed strats there? Let's look at. It's actually there all finished except for Dagger. So Dagger's just coming around the corner here. House is just sitting still for a second. He's let Dagger what? back past. What is going on there? Yeah, he's let Dagger pass right now. I thought, it, I thought he finished the race, but no, he just let Dagger pass. I don't know what happened to him. Has he run out of fuel? That would be weird. Do you remember how we last are, we time we had out of fuel, didn't we? Yeah. Wait, Dopo, Dagger, Halsey. Yeah, Oof, you already picked, okay. Yep. So, Dopo, Jedlin, Dagger, and Halsey. Halsey. Now, Halsey should have been in front. He was seven seconds ahead of Dagger after his crash. Yeah. So, maybe he didn't realize that it was one more lap and didn't put any fuel, enough fuel. Maybe. We'll hopefully see ready for the next one. So, as soon as they're ready up, just give me a shout and I'll come and press the button. We are missing Dagger and Jadlin. Jadlin is ready. We're just missing Dagger. So as soon as Dagger presses the button, I'll click start. Come on, Dagger. I'm asking him. This track is supposedly instrumental, but it's not. Five. Four. Oh. Dagger is leaving. Oh, he no, said Dag me. Dagger's left the session. We'll have to give him a second. No, no, he said he's leaving. Oh, he's not. He's uh, not continuing then. No, I don't think so. Ah, well. That is unfortunate then. So in that case, we shall continue on. Are we ready then? Where did he say it? I'm asking him right now, nothing. He's saying what's happening, nothing. Wait, what? I'm, I'm saying, he said, I'm leaving. I said, oh, what's happening? He said, nothing. Must have some personal reason yep. for leaving. The Must race. have had something come up, that's no worries there. He'll still get his points. We still count if you've raced, in, if you've uh, raced in at least one race, in whichever bracket you're in, you'll still get at least the points for where you finish there. So for the small final, we have a three-way right now. Yeah, exactly. They're starting side by side in a V formation. So we go. That's going to four and four. Yeah. So there we go. We've got a couple more. Seconds before we get underway. <laughs> there we go. And our fastest lap from that race was the 50.703 from Dopo. I didn't have time, have time to look because you clicked too fast for me. It's okay. I found it out. Sinking up, we're ready to go. Race two underway. And off we go. Watching Dopa right now. Yeah. This dirt fish livery. Halsey taking a nice line around the outside. Good traction straight into the <laughs> tires. <laughs> Is it a first corner if we don't have tires flying on the first lap? Yeah, I don't know. He's it, not a GDR race, so he exactly. has no tire flying. Exactly. Ooh, big fight in the front, a bit of bumper madness. Everyone's fairly close right now. It is pretty difficult to get these cars to actually hook up properly. This is Ooh. not a standard setup league, of course, as well, so it can also be down to the setup you use. 
Although I do wonder whether people, who who's using like stock setups and who isn't. And I think we're seeing Jetling. Oh, not, oh, oh, Jetling oh. coming through with a punt, a double punt. Oh no. And he's double waiting. No, the boy is not waiting. He just said. Dup. But Jetling yeah. is not far behind. He's just say, ooh, who's close? <laughs> Yeah, oh, he almost, did the almost did what he did last time, but managed to save it. Good job there from Jedlin. Looking ahead, we've got a good view of the battle ahead between Halsey and Dopo. Yeah. It's trading places right here. Look at that. That was a heck of a drive out of there from Halsey. Look at that. Completely hooked up yeah. the traction and shot out of there like from a catapult. <laughs> when you get traction back on this card, it's just launched in the on the track. Oh shit! The, the <laughs> battle was a bit messy there. A bit of a messy battle. Woo! <laughs> very uh, close from the road. Oh, nice county flick from Housey there. <laughs> really good, actually. Now side by side with Jedlin for a little bit. They're coming into the second corner. Sadly, Housey already di didn't do his joker lap. Both of them did. Yep, Housey still to do his. Shouldn't take him too long, though. We see Dopo oh. getting away with it fairly nicely. I've got to say, Jedlin's car is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> never, never mind. <laughs> you jinxed it even before saying it. Well done. <laughs> I was going to say, Jedlin's car's looking fairly clean and intact. Of course he has to hit the barrier when I say that. <laughs> How is he putting some more tire bomb onto the track? Yeah. He still didn't do his... Uh, ooh, nice. A bit too... <laughs> oh, no! Whoa! Oh, no! Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, he did, slow on, he did slow down too much. He closed the corner at the end too much. And Jedlin got surprised and just was on his racing line. I think House is just drifting now. Well, that was a wonderful he, little Scandi flick there, though. Yeah, he's doing Scandi flick, but you don't really need to in this car. You can use the um, you can use the weight balance to throw the car off between one corner and one other, but you don't really need yeah. a Scandi flick. He really linked up those hairpins quite nicely as well. This is some very nice drifting we're seeing from Housey. It would be funny if it was his fastest lap. He's going for his joker ah, now. Broke lap, yeah. He's Destroying breaking him. everything with him. <laughs> yes, all of the tyres. Tyres and the one cone, when one pole. Ooh, no. a messy. Little bit of a bad weight transfer there. As we go back ahead, Jedlin is five seconds back from Dopo. Dopo is just managing to run away with this one. Yeah, Everyone's only three people on track. Now. Only it is just three track people on track now. For, yeah. Makes it for a very, very wide thing. If we look at the map, they're all pretty much driving alone right now. Yeah. Miss Life says again because you... <laughs> you oh, yeah, <laughs> I, jinxed jinxed it I jinxed it again. Who has the less damaged car right now? So how is he definitely not, I think? He got a lot of contact. Absolutely. Dopo, Dopo is the one, I think. Car looks the less damage because it still has a rear bumper. Wouldn't it be funny if we could just like, you know, in some touring car races or in some, um, oh no, Jedlin spun. Ah, uh, he's still 10 seconds ahead of uh, Housey, so mm -hmm. no big drama. I mean, Housey did have a fairly big spin. Right now, the only thing they can aim for is the best lap time. So yeah, there are still points available for the fastest lap. You yeah. can beat a 50.703. 50.2. Oh, wow, we have as well. Dopo. That's Dopo, Dopo beating his own lap. Yeah. Dopo did a very good best lap right now. He nailed this race. This is the last lap. There we two go. Well, yeah, no, All done. Dopo coming across the line in first with a comfortable 10 second lead. And again, the fastest lap, I will imagine. Ouch. Jedlin just coming into contact with those tyres in the last couple of corners. Will Halsey then... key up these drifts? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> nice. 
beautifully done from Halsey on those last nice two deep. corners. Very nicely way, linked. Way too tight to um, to be fast, though. He didn't even try to be fast, I think. So, so Dopo with a 50.224, Jedlin and Halsey. Exactly. Dopo, Jedlin, Halsey. Dopo did a very nice lap of 50 to four, two to four, but it is still Dopo. one second behind. <laughs> so there we go. Behind Toba Hulk. Exactamondo. Exactamente, si. So as soon as we're ready, we'll get the third and final race of this one underway. Yeah, Dagger went offline on Discord and everything, so I yep. think he just had to leave. So unfortunately, Dagger's had some sort of something happen, I would imagine. Either that or he's just got tired and decided to leave. I know I've done that before, so... It's understandable. The only time I, I left a race, it was during the side max 2.4 hour of Nürburgring in the Gineta GT4. I was sick and I got sicker by driving. I, I wanted to throw up, so I left the race in the middle. There we go. They are all ready, apart from me. Yes. Gus, why aren't you ready? I'm never ready. That's my secret. I'm never ready. Oh, it's getting warm in here again now. So, for Valheim this evening. Valheim. So, this race has currently been going... Uh, this event this evening has currently been going for one hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Doing the qualification side by side actually speed up the process. Oh, yes. There is still a bit of waiting, of course. Unfortunately, there is yeah. still a bit of waiting because, of course, you can only fit so many people within a lobby. But the waiting is a good time to watch the stream and see what other people are doing. Absolutely. And also to shit post on the internet. Absolutely. We can shit post, we can watch the racing. I just shit posted on. I mean, Damien's server, actually. <laughs> That's uh, one thing I like to do when I'm at a... Like, with the Rallycross events that happened over Christmas and the Rallycross events that took part in before that as well. I love just watching the races, you know? In between my races. Ooh, good start from Halsey right there. Side by side again with Jedlin. Dopo getting in the action there. Pushing a little bit wide Ooh. for Jedlin. But Jedlin's going to have the inside line coming into the first corner. Side by side with Dopo. Getting the good line there. Oh, squeezing. Hello, Ultimate Case. Yes, he's in the final. Oh, the fast final, which would be after that. Ultimate Case, oh, well, Case. How are we? Ooh. Ooh, side by... There's a lot of tire on the track once again. And there is a lot of action right now. Absolutely. Everyone's... I'm not going to say anything about the state of the cars because they're already slightly broken. Are they all taking their Joker lap now? They are. They are, yes. Everyone in the Joker lap in the first lap, which means we won't get any crazy contact. Dopo leaving some space on the inside there. That's pretty good of him. Closing the door there, though. Mm. A bit of space yeah, between them now. Yeah, yeah, that's how you're still going. Look at them, still bouncing behind. Absolutely. This is this is the battle of the flying tires. They just they just go everywhere. So there we go. So check contact together yeah. more. Well, we are doing this already. So yeah, for Dopo to uh, get ahead right now. Uh, We'd have to get good. First. Jedlin would have <laughs> to finish last and Dopa would have to win. But Jedlin is not trying to finish last right now. He's actually. However, of course, doing there very is. Very nice 50.5. Yeah. If he can beat a 50.224, Jedlin will at least come away with point for fastest lap as well. Nicely done by Dopo right there. The two first corner, the two corners there. And oh, too tight on the exit. He could have gone wider and get a bit more speed. 
I've not actually heard that tire screeching sound in Project Cars 2 before. That is very interesting. I did hear it before during the uh, practice races. And I do hear it from time to time. But maybe because I because maybe because I'm, I do make my tires screech a lot. It's catching up, the boy, it's catching up. Yes, indeed. It's starting to liven up again onto lap four of six. There's two laps well, left. Another thing, case we do commentate this championship together. Before we commentated on on another championship for another yep. community together. That was 130R run by Casabrank yep. on their third. Oh, contact side by side. That's going to slow both of them down. Dopo into the lead. Jedlin in second place still. Drop back. Once, one second. Time difference already. There we go. <laughs> He's actually cleaning the track, uh, the pole. That's nice. All those tires. I find it funny that the tires are just three par three and they don't separate into one tire. Either. Yeah. AOR is looking for someone to commentate on one less day and MP2 league. If anybody of you would be interested. One less day, I cannot do. Yeah. Also, I think AOR are very serious and professional, and I'm not, so... <laughs> I'm perhaps uh, not so uh, serious either. I would like to have my green screen back at some point, though, but... I think my green screen is uh, not suited to, you know, the current locale I'm in. Wednesday, when I say I cannot do it, because one Wednesday out of two, which is next Wednesday, actually, I'm commentating on ACC Championship for LTC Racing ah. on their own channel on LTC Streams. So I cannot do another championship on Wednesday as one every other week I am doing that championship. Very good. <sighs> and I, I, actually at the moment I have no championship I'm commentating on my that was, which is weird. that was a lovely drift there from Dopo. Dopo is actually killing it right now. He's six seconds ahead. Absolutely. But how is he he's closing up a bit on Jed Jedlin? Is it, I, was, I was saying if Jedlin wants to win this, Dopo needs to come last and Jedlin needs to be first. And more tire on the track. Courtesy of Rousey. Absolutely. Oh, look at that! Look at the amount there. Like, oh. how many to really get the tires to fly, you just need to drive straight into there. Dopo crossing the line in first. Jedlin second, Housey third. That yep. is our small final, ladies and gentlemen. The that big is final our is coming. So again, same finishing position, one, two, and three. Yep. So Dopo points Jedlin, then are going to be uh, for Jedlin, Dopo, Housey, and Dagger. That is our order there. So I'll be entering those in, and what were our lap times? I don't know because the other two have left and it just shows Halsey. So, I don't think anyone got any faster time. What did it say for you, Gus? 50.290 for the Dopo. So Dopo, the yeah, Dopo's got his fastest lap either way, so no worries there. It is yeah. now time for the big final. We are looking for Tomahawks. Have a nice day, JBR, Aaron, Fat Scout, and it's Kotal. I'm going to just go out for the go top be, be. points. I'm going to leave you for five seconds. I'm just going no to worries. the toilet. Probably. I'm just going to pop down as well. All right. So that was a that was a good few races there. Very nice drifting from people as well. That's very nice to watch. <laughs> so there we go. So now we're looking for our big final competitors. That'll be Tomahawks. Have a nice day. JBR, Aaron, Fat Scout, and it's Kotal. Feel free to join and we'll get things going as soon as we can. All right. There we go. I'm looking forward to this racing with uh, like, even with just like five people on track at a time it was really good fun to watch. So now we've got a full race. You know, six people on track. It's definitely going to be interesting. Who's going to go for the tyres first? 
I don't know, but they are just flying this evening, aren't they? Either way, I'm just going to head on back up to the commentary box if you want to head down, JBR, and we can get going. I'm and, uh, Good racing. Uh, sorry? Sorry, JBR? Oh, he's gone. Good racing, Dopo. That was uh, very good wins from your racing as well. I'm going to head up back to the commentary box and we'll watch this final. All right, I'm back. Everyone's ready. Apart from Gus. All righty then. Am I alone? Oh no, he's here. A blood. Oh, I came back just in time. Absolutely. In time. <laughs> oh, naked ladies. So, Dopo got the fastest lap in the small final. Heat one was JBR. Two was Tomahawks. All right, so here we go. Big final. We're getting underway. <laughs> Six people on the track. Oh, oh, it oh, happened immediately. JBR fuck? and Fat Scout. Just the they just they just got killed. They did not even need a curve for that. It was a straight line. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway. On to the front of the race. Tomahawks out into the lead, followed by Have a Nice Day. It's Kotal and Aaron having a battle in third and fourth, respectively. Yeah. JBR and Fat Scout are now at the back, thanks to that start incident at the start. Honestly, I think Aaron mm. has the best livery. Aaron's livery is sexy and fun. It is really I don't sexy to the wall, actually. It's a great idea and very well executed. Yeah. A lot of people actually made the Joker there, but it does not. Oh, oh that was <laughs> what was cause is Kotal? Talking about livery, nice. I, I have no more livery to post on my Instagram about liveries. Yeah, yeah. So That's I'm going to it. start posting. Other. No, I'm going to start posting other games. Start posting Valheim. Yeah, I will. Well, you call it Gust of Blood Games either way, so. Yeah, on purpose because I knew I wasn't totally going to post steam racing stuff. Yeah. Oop, need a bit of tire, of course. I might, I might just do do the same thing. I know I've got my own Instagram account for a personal Instagram account. But I've also got Harkuno86, which I'll probably just start using just for gaming. And then, and then just... I'll sue you for copying me. <laughs> no, I've been using it just as my. I've been using my Harkino86 accounts just as my main Twitter, main Instagram accounts recently. But I should probably just use my personal ones for personal stuff. Either way, I only have... Yeah, I know the, the, there is no change in... Oh, but Arku... Uh, Arku no. uh, Iskota just got Aaron, but Aaron got Iskota back, but a bit of tires in the middle, of course. Yeah. I'm not even going to say anything here. Because we're probably going to see tyres prove yeah. me wrong at some point. But it's pretty calm all along this race, except between Scotland and Aaron. And no, Aaron is back in the. Oh, we will see. A... Oh, <laughs> well avoided from this coat there. He's, he knew. He knew he was coming. He got careful on purpose. So this Joker lap does not look so, um, yeah, slower yeah. actually. Tell you what, as well, have a nice day in front of them. His car looks in good nick. Yeah, he didn't have any uh, car. Aaron. Oh! oh! Aaron spinning and it's got breaking to avoid it and not passing! Oh, no. <laughs> well, we just, still... we just saw a yeah. random beans. Uh, That's by the bumper back. just sitting in the track there. It looks like... Oh! 
<laughs> wow. They're fighting hard! A bit too hard, baby! There goes his bump. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just sideswiped into the barrier there. It's going to give Jay. Oh, has he stalled? He's stalled it, Yeah, he stalled again. Twice for two nights. And, and again! again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate indeed. I think it does oh. mean now that they are fairly spread out, heading on to the... Well, it's almost like... Yeah, it's yeah about they are very spread out. My goodness, Tomahawk is running away with this one. The only that... one close to each other is our own ninja, sorry. Yeah. That time you said... Oh. 49.0! <laughs> <laughs> I think Tomahawk just wins. Yeah, let's stop the championship there. Tomahawk yeah. wins. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like watching Formula One sometimes, you know. Oh, and Aaron messing up again. He's going to no. Oh no! Will he let JBR pass? And he have no choice because JBR is making the pass, whatever happens. <laughs> yeah, JBR just trying to keep the speed going. Unfortunately, it's not worked out too well as Aaron's managed to get oh, past as well. Last lap battle between them two. Absolutely. We have a GZR bumper on the front. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, oh, Aaron's going wide. No, they've come into contact again. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. Oh, Fat Scott is still a bit too far away to catch up. But wait a minute. Why is it's got up just in front of them? I don't know. It must have had an incident happening there. But, however, how nice day. It has finished the race in second position. Or it's just about to, either way. Yeah. And we are seeing these like three the here. Beach. Things could happen Ooh. in these last couple of corners. You never know. It's oh, going it's to slow down. What's, what's happened? Don't tell me you forgot about fuel again. No. <laughs> he forgot about fuel again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. It's coach running out of fuel on the last lap. Didn't you use that last, <laughs> last week too? <laughs> oh, no. He was running so well, third position. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to break you, Miss Clara. God. So there we okay. are. That's our points. If we just read out those, that finishing position, apart from Tom Hawks in first. Tom Hawks first. <laughs> uh, yep. Javanese Day second. He had a very good race too. Yeah. Aaron third. JBR fourth. Uh, Fat Scout, Fifth, and It's Got All GNF. <laughs> there we go. My goodness me. Back to the lobby then. <laughs> so let's find out. Oh. So, uh. P3, wasn't it? Is Kotal, what happened? Fuel. Fuel? It's, it's that I had enough. I ran out literally on the, like, on the last. Uh, oh. Just before the hairpin. Oh, and no. everyone else's oh. engines nearly blew up as well, so. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I've written off. Open up the radiator. Yeah, open up those radiators and fill those tanks up, I think. I think Arturo, did you notice my engine actually did blow up? Oh, really? Yeah, right at the finish line of blue. Shit. <laughs> you were in much worse condition than me, though. <laughs> Goodness me. Well, either way, if you just make those changes, we'll get underway. Race 2, coming up. So, my goodness me, it was fuel... But we also That's had true. some issues with uh, engine overheating. Like, have a nice day. Just let me in on a on something like that his engine blew just as he crossed the line. Oh, fun! I didn't think that would be an issue on this. So yeah. So they're going to be the temperature of the track. They're going to be opening up their radiators this time, and hopefully, it's Kotal will put in a bit more fuel this time. Because, oh boy. <laughs> That was funny. That was so unlucky. Just uh, he only had two corners to go. I do not know about the temperature of the track because I cannot put the. Ah. <sighs> uh... Give me a second. But it actually finished at like eight. So. So, uh, <laughs> if I can ask a question quickly, what are the track and air temperatures? Uh, track is twenty-five. No, sorry. Track is thirty-three, and air is twenty-five. Thank you very much. And the winds. Track is 30-ish, oh. and 
air temperature is 25. Yeah, it shouldn't be a big issue, but I guess they close the radiator too much. Yeah, if, if they're taking their uh, setups from the time trial settings, then those... Uh, oh, wow. Elbows out really at the start. And GBR got into the end. <laughs> and Scout Been a la boy too. I was about to say, they've got around that first corner without tyres being flown everywhere. And But as I was about to say that, I just saw a tyre rolling around in the background. It's okay, because there are no tyres flying everywhere, but there are cars flying everywhere. Yes, indeed. Mechanical failures are still on. Yep. So that's the only thing that can go wrong, even if you can't get suspension damage. This is something Tomahawk's not in the lead right now. This is interesting. Well, he didn't start in the lead, but he just overtook it's Cotter and Aaron. Yeah, and so right now he's on the move for Jab. If Aaron is... If Aaron... Well, have a nice day. He keeps up his defensive driving. This could be a very interesting race. He's got to keep it up yeah. for the whole race. As they go side by side, Tomahawk's trying to get an inside line to get some better drive out of that first corner. Aaron Not just overtook his Cotter too, by the way. <laughs> Aaron overtook its Cotter. Hopefully its Cotter's got enough fuel. I've just okay. noticed on the front of that uh, car, you know, the livery that um, yeah. he's got, either that is damage or that's track maps. Which livery? Ooh! Tomahawks. Oh, they've come together. Tomahawks oh. immediately back on track Tomahawks. and doing the joker lap. <laughs> I don't think Tomahawks actually lost very much time there at all. He's just managed yeah, to he keep not going. He lost a bit of time because he, he came back second when he was going to take first, so... They me. were in front of Aeron and he came back behind Aeron, so they definitely lost time. Absolutely. Javanese, they don't got the worst of it because he's no fifth. Absolutely, he's still fifth. And it's Kotal somehow keeping his bumper so far. I mean, he's he's lost his front bumper on the first lap of each of the previous races oh. he's been in. Well, at least that we streamed. JBR obviously hates tyres. And Tomahawk just took Aaron and has already done the Joker lap, so... Yeah, so Tomahawk has overtaken Aaron and now he's won. Uh, no, I'm joking. He's going to... He's probably going to do well again this time around. As we're seeing Aaron and his mm -hmm. dive yeah, off to do yeah, the Joker lap. Wait to see where they are. They're on the left there. Oh, oh. they've survived, but it's Kotal's bumper. <laughs> They survive, but they're all side by side and they're losing time because they're fighting, so allowing Tomahawks to run away more. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's the thing. If you can get out of the wars and just drive away with it, you're going to do fairly well. You can bang in those fast lap times, but if you're having to worry about defense... That is a Switzerland strategy. Don't get involved in the war and profit. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Either way, this is essentially a four-way battle. We have a nice day just coming up the rear and trying Ooh. to get in on this action. Ah, GBR, GBR bumper just flew by. There, there are no more tyres at that corner. <laughs> there we go. Oh my Ooh. goodness! <laughs> we have a nice day making the pass on its total very forcibly. And Scooter losing his rear bumper on the track right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an odd thing to lose. He usually loses his front bumper first. So Jav and Aaron still fighting with GBR. So the first place is pretty much decided no, but the second and third are not. Absolutely. Now these cars are very rapid indeed. I would love to be able to drive one of these at least at some point in my life. It'd be fantastic. Oh, if I drive one of these in my life, it's going to be wrecked. There we go. Honestly, Everyone did their joke up. That's one of the reasons why I want to upgrade my Swift at some point. And it's to do Rallycross. Well, if you have to do Rallycross like that with a Swift, you have a long way to go. I do have a <laughs> long way to go. Wait, did Aaron not do his joke up? No, Aaron's done his joke lap. It's listed on my thing here. We're coming on to our last lap here. JBR is oh, only he, he, two yeah. seconds behind Tomahawks. Yep. So Tomahawks not having it his own way this time around. Either he's had a bit of a spin 
and everyone's he's caught up. He's sung bugging it. He's sung bugging it. <laughs> I mean, he's already done a uh, what a forty-nine point zero. He did forty-nine point nine this tra- this time. Still looking at Javanese day following GBA uh, Aaron right now. There you go. Nice GZR logo on the back of Aaron's car. And oh! <laughs> uh, and the friendship happens after the line is crossed. So, looks like our finishing position is Tomahawks, JBR, Aaron. Have a nice day. It's Kotal and Fat Scout. I think the incident at the start there didn't necessarily play into Fat Scout's hands. To sort yeah. of manage to knock him out of the and way. And I here, know so. he, went, he went to say hello to the wall too. At the last corner. Yeah, he's just about managed to cross that line, I think. At zero second, yes. Hey, Mr. have a lump again. No oh, redemption good. time for Scout. I got a feeling. P3 Absolutely. at least. So 49.9. Not his fastest lap today. Oh, no. Very far from him. One second from it, actually. Absolutely. Almost. Mm. Either way, let's fill this in here. So Tomahawk's finishing first. JBR finishing second. Aaron got... finishing third, Javanese Day is finishing fourth. It's a Kotal in finishing fifth. And the Fat Scout in a summer buddy finishing sixth. So right now, we have a three-way tie. Have a nice day. JBR and Aaron are all on six points. Oh, I'd like to have a three-way. What? What? Oh, tie in the point, okay. Yes. <laughs> so this is a decider for where people finish. Noise, toit. So, which make case said Fat Scout will finish third oh, this race. Come on, well, Fat he's, Scout. He's Redemption. third right now in the order, but Redemption. Redemption time for Fat Scout. Fat Scout Redemption 2, the new game Fat by Scout. Star. <laughs> Not Human Fury Weekend Remix. So I'm quite we surprised your music does not have a Fury Weekend Remix. You would like that, wouldn't you, Gus? Uh, that would fit you more. <laughs> I thought you were implying that you were the fairy wanting the fairy remix. Either way, we are now getting underway with race number three, our final race of the day. Yep. Watching Tom Hawks coming to this first lap. Oh, it's, oh, elbows out. The tyres fly for the final time at the first corner of the first lap. And GBR already lost his bumper. Yeah, and uh, it's one very... oof. <laughs> Sorry, Tom Hawks is straight into the lead. There we go. Yep. So I reckon JBR will probably. Oh no, Aaron has managed to get his way past JBR there. As we're seeing Fat Scout yep. and Kotal having a battle in the background there. Uh, Fat that Scout nearly stay. lost control of the car before, but he gained it. But he lost a bit of time because of that. Go. The question and... is, will anyone? This is the last chance oh. for these cars to finish a race while somewhat intact. Will anyone manage it? I don't think so. I don't think so either, but it'd be interesting, interesting if anyone does. Because Rayo, everyone is in... There's a three second gap between the leader... Well, there is a three second gap between the second one and the sixth one, so there will be a lot of fights. You can yeah. see it right now in the front, Aaron, Jav, and it's Kotel together fighting. Yeah. Jav lost this bit of a fight right now. There you go. JBR has already done his joke lap. It's out of the way already. Yeah. We're looking at <laughs> Look Fat at Scout. Have a nice day, and it's Kotal. All together here as Fat Scout's going to come out of his joke lap 
Oh. <laughs> Pushing jab a bit. Little bit of a, inverted commas, speed boost for have a nice day there. Speed boost? <laughs> That's one way to put it, I suppose, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, Is we're it? looking at uh, a battle now. There's, oh wow, they are really close together. That is a far away battle between from Aaron, Iskotel, Jav, and Fat Scout. JBR is doing Scouty really boy. well this time. We're seeing it's Kotal saying hello to the marshals there. Yeah, he didn't start this time. That's progress. Get going. <laughs> Absolutely. Look I'm at not... that. Oh my goodness. So... JBR is. Oh. oh. We're going to say JBR is really close behind Tom Holtz, but that's just because Tom Holtz was doing his joke lap and has lost no time at all. Yeah, he did a 49.3 while doing the Joker lap. Yep. But really? GBR did a 49.4. Yeah, I think with the Joker laps here, the uh, I think it's the same distance, just with a different sort of chicane, you know? Yeah, corner layout. Different corner layout, but same distance. Exactly. If but you if can... you get a, yeah, if yeah. you get a good exit from the Joker, I think you... Exit in a way when you can take the second to last corner better. Exactly. So it is advantageous if you can get out of that Joker into clear air and not into the back of another car. Ultimate K is going with good scout. P3 is very close to P3 right now. And he's actually going to take it. He's into P3. Prophecy being fulfilled right here. Will he hold Ultimate on to position eight. though? He's got one more lap to go. No, actually, two more laps to go. Five and six. We've got It's Kotal yeah, and Aaron. Oh and my god, here. save the car of Aaron. I wonder why. And yeah, I think it is, I think it is just damage. She's just... Yeah, it's I love the fact that... Oh, Aaron car does not say... The little thing it says on the front anymore because there's no bumper, but at the beginning of the race, I think it says something like, uh, You can't pray for God if you're masturbating or something like that. Yeah, what one side says, You can't hold gan you can't hold hands with God. Well, yeah, when you masturbate. Yeah. And the other side says something like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. We need his bumper to be back to be able to read that as Tomahawks. Oh, sorry, JBR. JBR is in the lead. Yeah, Tom Tomahawk Hawks is six behind. seconds behind. Tomahawk got a bit of damage there, so there must have been an incident that happened there to put JBR into the lead. We've completely missed that one. I think that's one we're going to have to have a look back on the replay. Oh, you have to look back on the replay. Wow, which I can't see. He's done a 50.007. No, I think he's done more than that. Wait, he's going to pass the... Well, we'll wait until the uh, finishing numbers come up. Fat Scout is now under attack from Have a Nice Day, coming into the last few corners. Will he oh, be able oh, to hold oh. on to this P3? Will Ultimate Case's prediction come true? Second to last corner. Last corner! It's come true! Fat oh, Scout oh. finishes third position! Yeah, nice. The oh, wow. the one. The last lap of Tomax was one minute! One so he did, he did the spin or something. Must have had an accident. That is way there. That is his first. It's the first time he finishes behind. So either yeah, way, he's, first lot. he's still got his fastest lap there. My goodness me. Mm -hmm. So wow, that was that was, it was amazing. It was Save a lap where it, it was a lap where he took the Joker lap too, so and JBR, JBR is. First, yes, then Tomahawk, Fat Scout, Have a Nice Day, Aaron, and it's Kotal. Fat Scout, have a nice day. Aaron, Aaron. and it's Kotal? A Aaron, yes, and it's Kotal. There we Aaron. go. So let's sort these out. I didn't throw, is there still one or more race? That's it. That's it. That's, That's our it. races. Okay. We are all done for the day. Shall we head back down? Yeah. There we go. Did everybody uh, leave instantly? Wow, that was uh, that was a uh, action-filled final few races.
Fats, yeah, well done on third position there. Well done. Ultimate nice. case, on ultimate case is cheering you on. Yeah, well, I could feel it while driving. Thanks, ultimate case. <laughs> uh, what, what you're saying is that you could feel ultimate case, okay. Uh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Where are the, the oh, replay out so, there? I want to see. Tomox, how did you find that uh, final for you? Was that all right? Yeah, yeah, I need to count to six. You know, both second race and third race, I thought it was a five lap race. So in the second <laughs> race, in the second race, I, I had time to recover. But in the final, I just parked it in the in the barriers and crashed. And then I realized it was six laps. So uh, luckily for me, I had done enough in the first two rounds. But uh, well, there you yeah, go. Some, some major concentration problems that two races in a row, I don't forget who my laps races are. So <laughs> I, I need to practice on that, I guess. Absolutely. You did really well, though. Uh, what yes. happened in the final race, though? JBR, you managed to win that final race there. Yeah. yeah. What? Pace you know, was just played it. I mean, yeah, it, I won because Tom Hawks uh, parked it, but I was able to keep up, which I was happy with. So. It's funny because I just realized something. Uh, the game told us that GBF best time on the uh, during this uh, race was a 49.8 or something. Uh, yeah, 49.9 something, something. Yeah, but during the race there was a time when I saw you do a 49.5. Was that? I think I hit and the what? walls on some some of them, so I think my lap. Ah, maybe been... yeah, um, yeah, 49.443 right now, but I think it didn't count because we hit the wall, something like that. If you hit the wall, you hit the tires. The, t the times don't count. Yeah. Exactly. But you definitely did the same kind of time than Tomba Hoax. Yeah, I was very happy with that. It was a yeah, surprise, man. But... Did really well. So there we go. Hopefully, Hopefully I can continue doctor. that. Um, yeah, it takes, it takes me a few races, and then by the end of it, it's too late that I've caught up. You basically gave away the lead on the on turn two as well. You went so wide. Yeah, that's true. You had such a good start. So if you had just been ahead of me, I wouldn't. Put, I could not have passed you because we had basically the same race space. So then I would not not be able to pass you. But you just like opened the door for me. I'm watching the replay right now. There we go. Yeah. I'm, okay. I saw what you did. <laughs> Tomox just parked the car, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was five laps. I I was getting seven to say, good race, yeah, but what pace do you have? And I'm about, oh, last lap. I just, and then I crashed and spun, and yeah, it was... Yeah, I see you, and you pushed a bit of hay and back on the track. Yeah. But, but you lost six seconds. <laughs> it, I lost a lot of time there, but yeah, it's... Um... It's good that we have a new winner in the last race, at least. Absolutely. JBR, JBR deserved it. He has such a good pace. So. He did really well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was fun. And he was, uh, he was the other ones. pushing you in the second race as well. You're right close up together, which is really good. So there we go. Let's add a display capture into here. Yeah. Leave the game right now. I don't need to have it. This game launched. You do some practice in for hell, although it's just four corners, JBR, but then you might be on top of your game from the get go. Yeah, it might make it be so if I can keep it up. If you're Remember, that fast, this track. Hell is going to be interesting. Not only will the final will the finals be at night, the whole event will take place in the snow. Oh, it's snow. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yes. You Finally could, you could happy. say, you could say that hell's frozen over. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just adding in the points now, so there we go. How are you? So like a, uh, like um, uh, was have have a nice day. You suggested about turning damage on, wasn't it, or was it? I think yeah, yeah, wants track limit and damage on. I would say. It I'm looks... gonna, I'm gonna keep track limits off because it's, it's GZR, isn't it? So. Mm -hmm. yeah, and especially in rallycross, because it's so many times you get pushed off track, and in this game they don't, they don't take that in consideration. So if you get pushed yeah, wide, yeah. you still get the slowdown, and you didn't do nothing wrong, and then you get like a twenty or thirty second penalty, and then it's so hard to, okay, then who should you know complain about what penalty? Then it's just mayhem. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and from what we've seen, pretty much everyone tries to stay on, stra on track. Yeah, mm. but I if you have done okay. some sometimes. Some uh, sorry, some people try to cut sometimes too much and hit the tire, but if there is damage on, people will avoid doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because hitting the tire is pretty much. Uh, but I think this is the only track that has really much tires. I think Brands Hatch have a couple of sections with tires as well that are real tricky, but uh, the other ones should be fine. We the problem, most of Brands Hatch is solid tires, it's not like the loose ones. Have. No, but you have, I think going down the hill after turn one, is, if I remember correctly, it's a chicane with the same tires like Hockenheim. And if you just nudge them, you know, you have the car is undrivable, if I remember correctly, when they had the VRX League. Mm. It was, you had to be so, so careful with the tires on Brand Satch because you had instantly 25 or 30 air damage and the suspension was just shot. So it's it's going to be a different thing of racing and uh, if you have damage on, I think it's good to start at hell because it's it's a nice track to have it. But if you have yeah. snow, I don't know what's going to happen. It, it might be mayhem anyway. I don't know mm -hmm. how sli sli slippery these cars are, but we'll find Fairly. out soon enough. They are fairly slippery. It's actually not too bad to drive. I've done a few laps just with a controller, uh, but it's uh, it's certainly going to be interesting, and it's well it's well lit as well, so it's just going to be nice nice scenery uh, with the snow and it being night time as well. So there we go. So just a. Five, four, three, for Dopo. Jedlin. And two for House in Dagger. So there we go. And finally, the finals. Tom Hawks. Coming in, in the lead there. 12, 11. Have a nice day. Aaron, coming in there. Eight. Fat Scout. It's Kotal. Oh my goodness. Kotal's not quite done as well as he did last time. But still good score, good score. 12, 11, 10, Was nine, not eight, very happy, seven, something eight, like. Six, five, four, and three. Jedlin gets six. Derfu gets five. Halsey gets four. And Dagger gets three. I oh, also get got some points there. Exactly. Now I just need to add in the points for the fastest laps, which is one point each. So in remember within your bracket rounds. So heat one, heat two, heat three, heat four, uh, final one, final two. I just realized that Dagger will lose his third place because he had to finish the race tonight. Tom Hawks got an extra point, so I'll change 18 to 19. Let's maximize this now. And that's not the overall fastest lap. He got his overall fastest lap in this big final, which is ridiculous. A 49.0. That's something. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That was really a good lap. But JBR, you also got your fastest lap in your qualifying heat as well. So your 11 turns to a 12. Ooh, so there we okay. go. So uh, in the heat then, JBR again, in your heat, you managed to get the fastest lap. So your five there turns into a six. Tomahawks again in his heat, his six turns into a seven. And, and Tomahawks is seven turns into a zero. <laughs> That would probably be too mean. And then finally, our finals. Dopo 
You got the fastest lap within your own final there. So that turns into a six there. But Tomahawks, not only did he get fastest lap in his final, he got the overall fastest lap of the day. So that 12, we add six to it. That turns to 18 points. So there we go. And let's see. That's our points total completed again for the day. So we just need to highlight these. And sort range by AB. I think it's Z to A. Sort. Yeah, it's Z to A. So it doesn't look like too much of a change around there. Too, not perhaps, too much of a change. Uh, perhaps uh, a little bit of a swap around there. Well, we'll be able to see because I'll be taking a screenshot of this and posting it to the chat like I did last week. Dagger lost four place because he dropped out. Sad. Ah, oh, man, that's unfortunate. But JBR is now in fourth. Let's have a look at the gaps then. One point between JBR and Javanese Day. Oh, my goodness, that is so close. But Tomahawks, so you've got a, third, a, a 24 point lead now. You're doing really well. Not if you remove his first qualification in round one, you put it to zero. <laughs> <laughs> then he has, he has zero point lead. <laughs> oh dear. And Rallycross is my strong suit, as I said before. <laughs> it is. It's, you're very quick, man. So, I, as, you as you know, I race a lot of I race Rallycross leagues in Dirt 2 as well, so... I want to race this league, but it's a bit too, too late. Uh, we might need drivers next week. Yeah, so feel free to join. We were just talking nice. about it. But that, that means Arcuno needs a race director if you want to race with six people. Mm. Well, I can set myself as race director. And uh, you can be race director for the races you don't take part in. Well, I couldn't do that, but I yeah. need to see if I have You remember how we did um, the RX mess? I did, quali I did uh, commentating on the races I wasn't racing in. Yeah, that's all. So that's no worries there. 4,971 for a Scouter reading. That's absolutely fantastic. Huh. I'm good to scout you. I'm going to head uh, go into the and go get some sleep for tomorrow. So thanks no for worries. organizing and see you next week, guys. We'll see you next yeah, week. See you next week. Yeah. Was good good, good evening. evening. Thank you everyone for the racing this evening as well. It's been absolutely fantastic to watch. Very entertaining. And uh, as I say, I'll be posting in the Sunday League news. Uh, the rest of the event, you know, the uh, final results and the right. points table. So, yeah. Until next time, then. See you all. Have a good I'm evening. To... Thank you. Good evening. Bye. There we go. So, I'm going to wind things up this evening here as well. I'll be back later. I'm going to have some food. I'll be playing Valheim in just a moment. 42 is the answer. It's not necessarily weak. It is indeed the best number you could get this time around. It's perhaps not as good as 69, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, absolutely looking forward to next week. 7.30 p.m. UK time. Racing will be kicking off. Hopefully I'll have the stream up and running a little bit earlier this time around so we can have a little bit of an intro. But with that being said, let's see who we can... We're not going to send it on to anyone because I'm going to be back after I've just had a bite to eat. So I'll let it also host. So until then, I've been Harkuno. You've been fantastic. And I'll see you all in the next one. Ta-ra! <laughs>